What's going on, all you wild werewolf enthusiasts? Oh. Ooh. You've ever ghouls are back here for Cinefells. We're doing more 31 Days of Horror. And tonight we're going to be talking about the brand new special presentation by Marvel Studios and Disney Plus. An episode that everybody's been talking about. It was 15 minutes long. And I'm talking about Werewolf, werewolf by Night. By night. So the Wild Cinefels boys have been talking this up for some time on the Cinefels podcast. You guys check that out. Uh, we've been yapping about this for a while. I know there's, you know, Bob and Niall that are fans of the comic and me and you not really knowing much about it, but uh, it really sets it up nicely in this. And I actually thought it was a series, my stupid ass. I'm like, <laughs> that was it. I wanted more, you know, right. Like, get super into it, but I was, I was wrong. It's a good sign that you wanted more. I mean, that maybe we will get more. If more people like us had the same reaction that we did to it, obviously both of us really like the look and feel of the old universal classic monsters. And this episode, you know, it's roughly 50 minutes episode really felt like an homage to the Wolfman or, you know, to Dracula, to the, you know, early 40, 40s and 50s of horror films when they first, you know, started popping off. And here we have director Michael Giacchino. Actually, he's a composer by day, but now he's trying his hand at directing and he's uh, he directed Werewolf by Night here. This awesome little, you know, treat from Marvel Studios right in time for Halloween and what a way to kick it off. And uh, yeah, both of us watched this over the past weekend and had a great time with it. Like we mentioned, you know, felt like an old Universal Classic monster film shot in black and white really has that eerie tone. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll let you set up the story of what happened in Werewolf by Night. Yeah, I just want to add a Michael Giacchino, huge fan of his, Oscar award-winning composer for one of my favorite Pixar movies, Up, yes. doing a straight, uh, you know, universal classic horror episode for, you know, Werewolf by Night on Disney. That's that's just amazing. I can kind of flip, you know, composing to directing something and paying homage in such a beautiful way, uh, you know, setting it up much like you were saying, the Wolfman, Lon Chaney Jr., you know, Dracula, Frankenstein, all the classics. It really touches on that in a beautiful way. Does it in a modern way, but also, you know, pays homage to it at the same time, black and white. It looks beautiful. Uh, but we have Gail Garcia Bernal playing Jack Russell, which is a lichen or werewolf, battling inner demons. And then you have the character of Elsa Bloodstone, played by Laura Donnelly. Her father um, passes away, Father Ulysses. And basically, it's a competition to find this, um, like, mythical bloodstone, right? So it's this big competition you have Jack Russell and you have Elsa and a bunch of other characters. And essentially what they have to do is find man thing and slay man thing. And they get this, this bloodstone gem. And uh, that's the setup of this episode. Really cool. It's a, you know, like a huge maze and you can kind of see this huge shadow lurking, not really sure what it is. Um, you know, and there's been talk about man thing for a long time, bringing this like a adaptation to, you know, TV or movies. So I'm glad they finally did that and finally got to see what it looks like. And it was really cool. Uh, between Jack Russell and the character Ted. Yeah, awesome to get an introduction to these characters that I knew very little about, but had heard, like you mentioned, from Niall and Bob and the comic enthusiasts, the Cinefellas boys that know a lot you know, more than I do, especially. Uh, but just awesome how they introduced everybody. It really felt like a, like, it really felt like an event, like they were gathering all these monster hunters together. Uh, the father had passed away there's this bloodstone involved and you don't really know what's creeping around the corner, the way that it was shot. It's shot very, you know, with the shadows, obviously being in black and white, you get all the shadows, you get the eerie spooky feeling of just, you know, being of all these, uh, you know, monster hunters set free and going after man thing. And uh, you know, around every turn, there's like a surprise. There, there's a lot of surprises along the way. And I really liked what Gail Bernal did here in his role as Jack Russell, I uh, really loved him, and Laura Donnelly as Elsa Bloodstone. The two of them worked really well together. Uh, basically, Elsa is the daughter of Ulysses. So, you know, she has this family history. And then you have the you have the mother, Verusa, who basically said that, you know, she's an outcast. You know, the, the family doesn't really like her. You can tell that there's a lot of animosity there towards the daughter, Elsa. Um, and she forms an alliance with uh, 
Jack right away. The two of them headed off and they're trying to work together to get through this maze and to eventually find man thing. And I just, yeah, this was so fun for me, you know, just watching this. It, it felt exciting because I only, I knew it was a, just a special presentation, just a one-off. So I knew that, you know, we were going to get some uh, finality to this and we were going to see a lot of different, different things within this one episode. But like you mentioned, yeah, it definitely left me wanting more and I would have loved to seen this episode expanded into a whole series but i think that i think that the plan for marvel is to eventually expand upon this obviously we haven't seen the last of these characters and uh, this was an awesome way to introduce a lot of new characters and to show a darker side of marvel for sure they brought something refreshing into this phase phase four it's been like i think 15 projects they've had between movies and tv shows and it just hasn't found its footing or direction really i felt like in this in this phase thus far but this brought something completely different something new that we love you know being fans of old school horror movies black and white you know nods to you know lon chaney jr wolfman and dracula bella lugosi and a lot of films of that era not just horror just you know the old school old uh, black and white days to the early days of movies uh so there's a lot of love in this michael giacchino did an excellent job directing this i was really blown away actually Impressive. even molly when me and molly watched it she was blown away we both were just like glued wrapped in the story it went by super fast and you know left me wanting more i want six episodes of this to dive more into these characters and man thing as well and see where their kind of relationship goes to without giving too much away but really great introduction to all these characters i wasn't familiar with i, I just really love this episode you know the costume design and you know set design everything the score was fantastic and this it really brought you into this world feel like back in the day and also getting the introduction of the werewolf himself i have to talk about that practical and cgi but it looked really really good more practical side of him actually turning into this werewolf and like brutally killing people it's pretty gory i mean they went to a bit of an r rating in terms of like uh, the practical and the blood and uh, the attacks yeah, that was awesome. The whole transformation scene. I liked how they, you know, they played off the shadows of it, but they also showed you, you know, they showed him changing in the shadows and they also showed the werewolf, you know, transforming slowly and him being able to jump super far distances way up high and then come down and attack people. And, you know, it got bloody there <laughs> for, a, for a change within Marvel, which was awesome to see. It definitely felt like it was, you know, leaning into the horror aspects of it. So it some really awesome stuff and, Going with the, you know, the whole theme of the episode and the score with the music and everything, everything felt really awesome. And uh, I had a great time with the episode. What more can be said? Like you said, Michael Giacchino, his first uh, directing gig, and he knocked it out of the park here. I mean, if if he doesn't get uh, signed up for a Marvel film within this, uh, you know, the next couple of phases, I'll be really surprised after this because he really... Uh, pulled something off here special for Marvel Studios. Yeah, and we both highly recommend this, especially during the Halloween season. If you guys are feeling in the old school mood, you want to revisit some old Universal classic horror you know, movies back then, watch that and then watch this. Uh, only 50 minutes, but well worth your time. Really great storytelling, great characters, everything about it that we've discussed already, just top notch. And we highly recommend it. So that being said, I'm going to give Werewolf by Night, now streaming on Disney Plus, a four and a half out of five gail garcia bernal hair pieces i'm going at the same score as you i loved everything about it this felt like something special something we hadn't seen before um i mean it's not to say that marvel has necessarily gotten on track but they tried something out of the ordinary here and embraced some of the darker aspects of the comic books that they have out there so i can't wait to see more of these characters show up you know and and bring some uh you know We've seen a lot of the villains, obviously Thanos and everything, but nothing said like this evil kind of, uh, you know, this dark horror aspect to it. So I can't wait to see these characters kind of make their way in and cause chaos. And, you know, the, the future is looking bright for sure. I hope we get more out of these characters, whether it be, you know, another limited series or a movie or whatever. I have a feeling we will. I mean, eventually they're going to have to bring Blade to the screen. Obviously, they've been having to have some trouble with that, trying to get the story right. But uh, these characters within this, it, it really felt like he would have been a character that could have been in this and, you know, went on the hunt or, you know, at least been a part of this show here, but that's okay. With that being said, I loved everything about Werewolf by Night and I am going to give Werewolf by Night the same score as Uncle Logan, a four and a half out of five Jack Russell hair pieces. If <laughs> you like about Werewolf by Night, what didn't you like about it? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to click 
Subscribe. Also, check out these wild ghouls on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and our website, cinefells.com, for the latest, greatest TV, movie news, and horror reviews. That's right. 31 days of horror chugging along here in the month of October. We've already covered a lot of horror movies and TV shows, several more, you know, newer TV shows and movies to review coming up. So stay tuned. And we also still have the Awesome Fellas giveaway for the 31 days of horror, where we are giving away three digital codes all in glorious 4K of uh, three movies. We're talking about Lost Boys, Poltergeist, and Halloween Kills, all for your pleasure. So make sure to enter in on that. Find the video and find out how you can enter in. And we'll be announcing that right before Halloween. Also, we're throwing in a free asthma inhaler. So that about wraps it up for this 31 Days of Horror Review. Me and this guy over here, my good mate over here, Henry Hill, and I'm Uncle Logan, talking about Werewolf by Night. Definitely check it out as soon as possible. And Hopefully you have a spooky Halloween season. So this is the Wild Cinefellas Boys signing out until the next review. Cheers!